bulk gold. Its colour, like that of any object, is a complex combination of how incoming light is bounced off, passed through or absorbed. It absorbs the blue light and the rest of the spectrum, the reds and the greens, are reflected and combined to make up gold's characteristic yellow colour. So far, so good. But we need to dig a little deeper to understand why nano gold behaves differently. While it's convenient to think of gold as a hard wall of atoms, the science is a little weirder. It's not a wall, but rather a shared sea of loosely bound electrons that slosh back and forth over the bulk gold surface at regular intervals. It's like the slosh of water you can set up by sliding back and forth in a bathtub. The frequency of this wave determines what light is reflected and what light is absorbed. The name for this rate of sloshing is the surface plasmon resonance. Brilliant name. Sounds like something out of Doctor Who. Nanoparticles are far smaller than bulk gold, so their shared electron sea is more like a pond. The nano gold pond sloshes back and forth faster than the bulk gold sea, and the frequency of light it absorbs is therefore different. It absorbs yellow and blue light and reflects, you guessed it, red light. 